In this video, we're going to take a look at the Find button and the code behind it. Let's make sure this works first. I list out all my records. I key in the name Joe Lee into the last name field. I want to find Angelina Jolie. So I click on Find. And, oh, I've got two occurrences of her in my database. All right. How did we do that? Let's go find out. Well, I go to my fe.py database, and I go down to the Buttons section. And let me see if I can find the Find button. And there it is, right there on the bottom. Mr. Button, would you please put yourself into the root window? The text on your button must say Find, and the width must be 10 units. The command I want you to execute when somebody clicks on you is the find it underscore command. Hmm. Assign all of that information to B5, please. Mr. B5? Yes. Could you tell Mr. Grid to put your silly self into row 0 and column 5? And he says, sure, I'll do it right now. We're done with him. Now let's go up to the top of our file and find this find it underscore command. I am at the top of my file and I'm going to scooch on down to there it is, the command function section. Now let me go find my find it there it is. Find it underscore command function. Let's examine the code. First line says, go to list box 1. That's, of course, this guy over here. I want you to delete something. What do you want me to delete? Well, from the very beginning to the very end, delete it all. So all of this is going to go bye-bye. All right, that gets cleared off first. Now, notice I just keyed the name Joe Lee into the last name field. The next thing that happens is a loop. And in this loop, I say for each row in, I don't have to put the word each in there. It's assumed. For each row in, oh, what is this? Well, go to the BE file, backend file. You'll find the function in there called find it. And... I want you to pass him some values. What do you want me to pass him? Well, go to the first name field. Get everything in there. Well, but there's a blank in there. So this doesn't count. Then he goes to the last name field. Get everything in the last name field. Ah, Jolie is over here. So Jolie, Angelina Jolie is going to get passed to this function. Is there anything in the department field I can get? No, nothing. Is there anything in the salary field I can get? No, nothing. So the only thing that gets passed to this function called find it in the BE file is Jolie in the last name field. That's going to get passed to this guy. Let's go to this BE files find it function see what it does with Jolie, and what it returns back to our find it under command function right here. Let's go there now. So this is the be.py file, and here is my find it function. And it catches Jolie inside the ln variable. The other variables just have blanks in them and are ignored by our system. So now the first thing that happens is we tell SQLite 3 to connect to the EMPSNA database. And SQLite 3 says, OK, I've done it. Could you please assign all that information to this variable, Mr. Khan? OK, I'll do that too, he says. Now, Mr. Khan, could you create the cursor for me? And of course, you know that the cursor is a little scratch pad where the system writes all of its records, does any sorting, 
Mr. Khan, could you then assign all of that information to Mr. Kerr? So Mr. Kerr will be the manager of this guy. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Not a problem at all. Mr. Kerr, could you now do me the honors of executing the following SQL statement? He says, sure, what is the statement? Well, I want you to select everything. That's what that star is. Select everything from the EMP table. This table is inside this database. I want you to select everything, all the records, from the EMP table. Hmm. Okay, I'll go grab every single one of them. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a condition here. He says, well, what's the condition? Where the following condition exists. So he says, what's the condition? Well, first name would have to equal this. And this question mark leads us right to this guy, FN. But wait a minute. When we passed it all this data, there was nothing in the FN field. That was a blank. Oh, so this doesn't count. Oh, let's take this away. Uh, what about salary? Was there anything in the salary field? Salary equals dollar sign. But there was nothing in the salary field. Ah, okay, so that doesn't count either. And how about department equals, oh, wait a minute. We didn't pass it anything in department, did we? No, we didn't. That doesn't count either. What did we pass it? We passed this function, a last name. And that question mark gets replaced with the actual last name contained in this ln variable. Mm, this one up here. So now, last name, Joe Lee gets passed over here into ln. So now, let's read this again. Select everything from the emp table where, huh, where, no, that's blank. Oh, that's blank. No, that's where last name equals Jolie. Ah, oh, he says, okay, okay, I gotcha. So he goes through the entire table. He finds every occurrence where the last name is equal to Jolie. And he, and he grabs all of that. Where does he put it? He puts it into the cursor. So there are two records, duplicates, and he puts both of them in there. Now what? Okay, next line. Uh, Mr. Kerr, yes, could you go into the cursor and fetch all them records for me? Yes, he says, I'll go fetch all them records for you. And could you put them into this variable here called rows? He says, okay, I'll do that. So now rows contains my two occurrences of Angelina Jolie, my two duplicates of Angelina Jolie. Oh, okay, they're all there now. Right. Okay, Mr. Khan. Yes. Would you close the connection to this EMPS database? Yes, he says, I'll do it right now. Oh, one more thing. Could you return to the calling function the variable rows where we put all of our data? He says, yes, I'll do that right now. I'll, I'll return this to the calling function. So he returns this to the function that called find it. Well, let's go there with him and find out what that function does with all of this. So now we're back here in the fe.py file. We come back to our loop, which was for each row in, and then we had this go to the be file, find the find it function, pass them this data. There was nothing in fn. There was nothing in department. There was nothing in sal, salary. So he passed him Jolie. And now he returns back the variable rows. What does he do with rows? This is what he does. In memory, he takes all of this. What does he do with it? He deletes it and replaces it in memory with the returned variable rows. You know, the variable that has our two occurrences of Angelina Jolie in it. Oh, okay, now let's read this. For each row, 
in the variable rows, this is what I want you to do. Go to the list box number one and insert in the end position of list box number one the value that's in row. So row goes into rows, grabs the first value of Angelina Jolie, jumps down here and inserts Angelina Jolie into the end of list box one. Jumps back up here. Now, Mr. Rowe jumps over here to Rose, and he's at the second record, and he grabs the second occurrence of Angelina Jolie, and comes down here, and inserts that second occurrence of Angelina Jolie, that second occurrence of Rowe, he inserts that into the end of the list box again. Jumps up here. Oh, he's out of records now. And this function ends. Well, let's run our program now. I click on list records and I want to find Angelina Jolie. So I click in the last name and I key in J O L I E and then find. I should get two records. Let's see if that's what happens. Oh, and there they are. Record number 39 and record number 56, Angelina Jolie. I have two duplicates. Wow. i got to get rid of one of them. Let me click on the bottom one and click on Delete. And she's gone. And Angelina Jolie occurs one time here. Let's see if that's indeed what happened. Let me key in. J-O-L-I-E again. I'm going to click on Find, and I should get only one record back now. Let's find out if that's what happens. Let me click on it now, and there we go. One occurrence of Angelina Jolie. This worked. So we've done List Records, Add Records, Delete, Find, and Clear. We haven't done Editing yet. We'll put an edit button in here, and we'll also put it in a close button, you know, close the program, rather than click on X all the time. So we've got two more buttons to do, and then we're finished. I hope this was useful to you, and if you would share and like this, I would greatly appreciate that. Good luck now.